Hello and welcome back to a let's try and uh, now I've tried this uh, officially or unofficially I suppose um, on stream, but I've never actually done a video on it and I wanted to and for a couple of reasons uh, Let me let me go through it real quick. I've been uh, fairly I guess disparaging or negative of the survivor like a genre um, and I think for good reason uh, mostly because I feel like uh too many survivor likes are have too many kind of carryover or overlapping mechanics they play too similarly to each other in my opinion it is my opinion and that's you know it begins and ends there uh however i that's not to say i don't like it like the genre i just think that uh, there's not a lot of room for innovation in it however um this is one that i played that you know uh when the genre was still kind of um finding its feet finding its grounding um showed a lot of innovation and a lot of um kind of character to separate itself to differentiate itself from its um competitors and also its predecessors i maintain that if a game is playing too similarly to its predecessor you may as well play the predecessor but this one, Soulstone Survivors, does a very good job of standing on its own two legs. So I do have some stuff unlocked already, but we're going to go through it. We're going to play it. Um, we're going to do a round with it. Let me see if uh, what new characters. I guess uh, I guess I wouldn't mind trying someone new. Why don't we try the Pyromancer? I'm getting all kinds of achievements right now. Um, we do have meta progression. I don't mind meta progression in a soulstone survivors mainly because it's not necessary in order to progress um, You can definitely beat the game on your first attempt. I did so at least back when I played it um, Almost a year ago actually, but uh, maybe things have changed. Maybe maybe my opinion of the game will uh, be Less forgiving who knows but I, I think it'll remain relatively the same we'll try it and we'll see it you know it's uh you're, you're gonna know what to expect for sure i mean uh, you know even even this game plays uh you know predictably and uh, it plays a very um how should i put this like uh i guess predictably works i mean like you you know what to expect from this genre at this point i think that if you uh like the genre you will probably like this game and um, you know exactly what to expect it'll feel familiar it'll feel comfortable even but there is a, a, a few things that it does differently it's a bit more mobile than maybe some of the other survivor games in fact I dare even say that this uh, plays a bit more like a traditional not a traditional roguelike <laughs> let's let's uh, let's you know get our n naming conventions correct here like a uh, consistent roguelite uh as of late a traditional roguelite you could say because it's a bit more action based it's a bit more um mobile it's a bit more skill based in my opinion i do appreciate this this is something they added uh, i think after the first time i played it but you don't you don't get interrupted i really cannot stand how many of these games interrupt you um to to tell you hey by the way you can pick a skill i'm like okay i get it yeah increase your cast frequency brb and it increases your cast frequency modifier by an additional 20 percent sure you know I'm, uh, I'm i'm pretty predictable myself if i see something that says rare or uncommon i'm probably gonna favor it over uh its uh competitors you know we've got some very uh interesting music going on here i do like it actually got something something cool going on um we do have like passive attacks i think it's a kind of a staple at this point um of like you know the survivor like a genre is you don't ever make attacks yourself you only uh direct them maybe what is this it seems to be something i can't really do anything i don't i don't recall uh that thing last time i played it so we've got a lot more things going on here um this uh survivor uh, does sport bosses and like all kinds of um enemy variants causes a large explosion at your position dealing burn damage we are already kind of burn themed so um leave a trail let's do our let's do flame wave let's uh double and triple down on fire uh oh yeah get out of there And I mean, uh, you know, I don't think that this game is particularly hard. It, it does uh, at least like 
offer something in terms of uh, more interaction. I think, like I, you know, don't don't get me wrong. I do think that uh, uh, twenty five percent chance to apply burn. Um, let's increase the cast frequency, and we also have another one. Um, yeah, let's do relentless again. Seems good. Um, I, you know, I, I think that part of the appeal of uh, Survivor Lakes is actually the lack of interaction. Maybe even, dare I say, the lack of difficulty. I, I think that the, those are um, actually strong appeals to the genre. It, sometimes it feels nice to just like kill uh, hundreds of enemies without having to really uh, earn it too much, and then like pick a pick from a variety of equally good, but uh, you know. Uh, give you some kind of vague <clears throat> idea of uh, or vague illusion of strategy of player agency i think that uh, honestly there's nothing wrong with it it's 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 a kind of a bizarre genre in that it's actually very unapologetic in it's like attempt to make a fairly hardcore genre feel um a bit more um, accessible and i think that that is actually a great thing We've got four skills we need to take here. We're going to take more Meteor for Burn. We're going to take Spontaneous Combustion for Burn. Uh, increase your maximum health by 45. Your current health is adjusted uh, pro appropriately. Proportionately. Increases your experience modifier by an additional 10% in your pickup range. I like uh, this, actually. Let's take that. Um, he's done it. He, he actually took something that was not uncommon. Um, might... Empower you and all your nearby allies. No, smite enemies at a random location after three seconds. We can take it. Um, I can't re-roll any of these. We can't banish any of these. These are things that you unlock with meta progression. I don't want to take that poison thing, but I guess I'll take the smite. I guess I'll take the smite. Maybe we can replace it later. I, s I feel like that was a thing you were, you were able to do previously. Oh, they really went to uh, devs went out of their way to make some really cool music i gotta say so we've got um this gem here gem is actually our meta progression points wow we we leveled up six times huh um increases the damage modifier for all of the smite skill increases the area modifier by an additional 10 percent yeah let's do that it increases your damage modifier this is your critical damage. Yeah, let's do damage modifier. Chaos bomb. Um, in front of you causing a random amount of damage between two and 1550 and applying a random powerful negative effect. Well, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah, let's do that. Attack speed uh, of our fire slash. Sure. Increases your block power. Sure. Sure. Yeah, let's increase the critical damage chance. Why not? Um, arcane sparks fire a total of eight projectiles that move randomly, dealing 310 damage. So maybe after your, uh, a few playthroughs, you'll have uh, a bit more agency. As a, a you know, you'll be able to, to 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 go for skills and powers that you are more familiar with, more comfortable with, and and uh, you know more reliably get the things that you like but uh, i mean this is uh, it's it's kind of exactly what you expect so like why am i recommending this over like many many other survivor lakes that i've played i think it's because um this game does a good job of uh, i don't know shaking things up a little bit but also it's just been around long enough and i think the devs are uh, experienced enough that they they've you know made it compelling they've added enough content to to make it uh, uh interesting and i mean it, it is a little bit different even graphically speaking and i don't think that necessarily like a graphics should be the standout feature of a game but i do think that uh, it is part of what uh, makes this one stand out what do, what do we got going on over there all right let's uh, level up a couple times increase your critical damage modifier sure um Increase the damage modifier of the chaos bomb. It's, I can't say chaos bomb without it sounding hilarious to me. Um, I would. Ooh, okay. Well, let's get out of the way of that. I need to get some health. I know that there are options for um, health pickups, but you got to go find them. I'm not sure where they are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Things are getting kind of spicy right now. I won't. I won't lie. 
Okay. I think we did kill our uh, our boss. What is that? That's a uh, this one of those pickups that we're gonna have to get more of in order to unlock or upgrade certain things. I might get some health if I get this thing. Ooh, okay, we just uh, picked up everything and leveled up nine times. Sure, let's take Firewalk and we'll replace Arcane Spark. No, let's replace Smite because I haven't even upgraded that. Increases the damage modifier of Arcane Spikes. Uh, Spark, sorry. Um, increases your cast frequency modifier. Only 5%, huh? I think it would be better to take the 30% damage. Uh, increase the multicast chance of the skill Flame Wave. Yeah, that seems really good. I think the rarity of uh, replace choices with passive power-ups. Hmm. Yeah, do that. Because now we are just doubling down on what we've got. Um, increase your area modifier by an additional 15%. Let's increase our damage. Increase the modifier of the slash skill by an additional yeah, damage. Um, oh, agility might be actually really good. Sorry, can't do, can't can't do it. Um, yeah, I don't want any of that. Crit uh, increases your damage modifier. Sure. Kind of want more health. Actually, could really use some more health. More health. Increase your area modifier. Sounds good. Uh, actually, I think I passed up a better skill there. To be honest. I need to find some health. I know it's out here somewhere. I do know that it's out there. It's out. It, I, I, you know, I want to believe that there is health out here somewhere. But honestly, as long as I don't take any more damage. Oh, there we go. All right. They, I did know it was a thing. So we, we got some health back. So I guess it tells you, it, it informs you uh, thusly. Oh no, there's someone out there who's really gonna hate that I said that actually. Uh, more movement speed would actually be like a fantastic. So if I can, if I find that, I might prioritize it because uh, with our flame walk, it would actually do a lot to synergize with our current build. Definitely want to double down on our burn. And I mean, like, you know, uh, illusion of choice, illusion of, of strategy. Uh, I definitely think that, you know, like some choices are better than others, but also they're so obviously better than others that I really feel like you would, you know, you don't, you're not going to pass, I guess the, the choice isn't going to be difficult, you know, you, you don't really actually have that much agency because the choices you're making are very obvious. Um, but I don't know, it's, it's a kind of um, up, to, up uh, to interpretation maybe. If I do see another burn skill, I'll be uh, happy to take that. We are doing a good job of collecting all of our stuff. We're also doing a pretty good job of not taking any more damage. I just need to, you know, be a little bit wary, be a little bit careful. Did I knock that guy on his ass? Guess I did. We're getting ooh, new new enemy type. This one's fairly quick and it's got a large attack range. Something I do also appreciate is it is very easy to tell enemies apart is the game is actually quite readable despite the fact that it's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, we got some more health back, so we're actually recovering quite nicely. We don't have to level up just yet. I don't really think it's going to make a huge difference. We've got our boss coming in right now oh no Ooh. <laughs> all right asloth A A alexis the chaos bringer huh yeah you don't necessarily you want to you want to time your okay i just i think i barely have the attack or uh, the movement speed to get out of there we don't want any of these uh damage increase Fire Slash for Meteor, um, yeah, let's take the rare. Okay, I, 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 I took a risk there and it did not pay off. I wanted to know if we had enough movement speed to get out of range of that attack, and we do not. 
So, whoa, God. Oh, I got caught on the geometry of the of the environment there. Shoot. Okay. Well, that's fine. That was that was my bad. Um, let's go back to the menu and see what we can buy with what we picked up. We have uh, these kind of various gems. Game's also pretty good about letting you know what you need and where to get it. Um, reach prestige level 10 with a pyromancer. I don't think that we did that, obviously. Um, select material. So let's see. Let's look at character. Uh, weapon has not been crafted yet. So we can craft different weapons for different characters. Let me see what I can do. Oh, okay, wait. Did I reach 10 prestige with anyone? I don't think I did. Uh, can we unlock any skills? Select a rune. Required achievement. Win a match with all curses up to and including tier 2. Okay, so this is like a, an advanced rune. The runes are fairly new to me. I don't remember runes at all, basically. Required achievement. Reach prestige level 30 with the assassin. Okay, so these are things that are actually gated behind achievements. I actually kind of like that um, form of meta progression because it actually means that uh, content and, and uh, improvement progress is gated behind you actually uh, doing things and, you know, like achieving things rather than just like getting as far as you can and then dying. Um, let me see here. Uh, we can, do we have enough? We have 12,000. So we can level up a couple of these things. Increase the number of dashes you can perform by one. That sounds very good. Let's uh, let's grab that. Um, these are these are all kind of gated behind different forms of uh, gems and stuff. So let me see here. Um, increases your armor power by nine. That sounds pretty good. Reduces all damage taken. We don't have nearly enough for that. Increases your block power. I'm not sure if I can block yet. But let's increase our health by a couple. Uh, movement speed would actually be really good. And um, we don't have enough of these red gems in order to uh, improve those. Do we have any enough to buy any more things? No, no more things. You know, the things. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, we can do this one. Increases your critical ch ch hit chance. Just checking if there's anything else. Increases your pickup range modifier. That sounds good. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, we'll try a different character. Um, I'll try the Hound Master. Let's try that one. We can also do a different, uh, location. Uh, I'll try the Caves of Dal Jog, and it tells you what materials you're getting, and that is going to matter, um, later when you're able to, um, actually, like, uh, craft different equipment um because you're gonna need materials i'm trying to see here can we no we still can't see what we what we can what we can craft or what it's gonna cost us what did it cost you it cost me three gems that's nothing too spicy actually uh it looks like we have modifiers here too reduces all healing received by 12 percent this will give us curse intensity oh, okay so this is a new thing explosive goblins will now appear much earlier in the match sure uh, unholy reinforcements elite enemies now spawn 10% more frequently sure Every time you kill an enemy, there's a 10% chance of meteor falling near your position um, I mean, let's just roll with that for now. We'll see how that goes. I Do appreciate the modifiers that allows you to, to add a bit more spice To your to your game eliminate monsters to summon Lord it, uh, confirmed uh, Soulstone survivors is actually an anime you you have to kill God in order to 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 win But yeah, I mean like um, I Guess the, the reason I would recommend this over a lot of its competitors is just because I I just think it is a cut above I think it I don't think it is again. I don't think it's particularly um like different from the genre but this you gotta remember this came in early enough that there you know there wasn't like literally 30 to 50 of these like every day um and i think that it is like doing enough to 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 be fun in a i guess like um interactive sense that it doesn't just it, it doesn't feel like just yet another one um common power all your attacks have 10 percent chance of applying fragility these are all passive 
sure we'll we'll apply fragility why not let's uh let's shake some egos you know let's uh cripple some pride i think the characters are different enough from each other they they definitely work differently i can't actually um like i have no control i don't think over the rate um the range it's a it's a fixed range on the gun so i actually have to keep a uh fixed distance away from certain enemies i can try yeah like it like it won't let me change the range so i have to um definitely change up the play style my play style a little bit we have two dashes now i think yeah how many times can i die okay just the twice i i do wish uh, there was maybe a visual indicator that told us to, um is like a let me see you chaos salmon one chaos go golem to fight for you sure let's do that maybe we'll go hard on allies in this match and that way uh we can like improve their Ooh, we took some damage there unnecessarily look at all the look at all the enemies we're hitting i love the like we've got some pretty good area of effect um damage on our main attack so we can we can hit a whole bunch of them at once if you can like herd them around then it does well we've leveled up a few times Ooh, legendary damage increase your damage modifier of all your skills of type physical um which ones are physical okay it tells you at the bottom so this is physical and this like, chaos golem is physical okay this is good if a skill does not cause damage the potency of its effect will be increased instead same effect is also applied to units summoned by skills of this type amazing um agility seems just like a very good thing to grab if we can build a ballista this is a summon and it's also a physical um or we could take frag shot fires a shot in the direction you are aiming at piercing through and let's take a, I, I like the idea of doubling down on on summons and then maybe we can like make an area very uh tough or or, or very protected We've got some healing gems on the field. We did take a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's enough to warrant um, going for those gems. This is already going pretty well, I, I gotta say. Alaxis the Chaos Bringer again. Um, brutal Strikes. Your critical chance strikes have a 50% chance to apply bleed. Increase the health of units summoned by the Chaos Golem skill. Increase the damage modifier of all your skills of type summon. Oh, perfect. Increase your movement speed. Uncommon. Sounds good. Um, Firebolt is a physical type. Explosive shot is a physical type. Empower you and all nearby allies, increasing the movement speed modifier by an additional 20% in cast frequency. This seems good. It's helping our allies and myself. And also increasing our movement speed by quite a, a lot. Wow, we absolutely shredded that guy. Something I also appreciate, just like a little quality of life feature, is uh, you know exactly when you're going to get your magnet ability. Like, basically all of these games have that magnet ability. It's basically the the, the dopamine nuke button. Um, is just like, you know, get the thing that pulls in all of the gems on the battlefield. And usually it's fairly random um, and you don't know when to when it's going to appear, which is fine. It, you know, that definitely lends to, um, you know, the uh, sort of addictive nature is like, oh, yes, I finally got the thing I was waiting for. It. But I do appreciate the consistency uh, of it in this game is like when you defeat the boss and you get the like the meta gems, that's when you get your magnet. So you know exactly when to expect it and uh, when it will appear. Damage increase for the build ballista uh yeah fire shield creates a four four fiery orbs that rotate around you causing damage this uh, i wish it would tell me if it's physical or not it didn't doesn't seem to do that um increases the damage modifier of mortar shot let's do that here we go why does it, this one tells me um okay so this one isn't physical i would like some more summons but the shrapnel shot sounds pretty good so let's take that increases your damage modifier by a additional 10% but subtracts 5% from your moot no we're not doing that I'll take fragility uh, increase our health increases your multicast chance by an additional 8% increasing the chance of activating all your skills multiple times sounds amazing um, and then we have firebolt 
or bombardment. Calls down in a bombardment around your current position. Each bomb deals. This is not summon, not summon, not summon. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll take this, but I, I fully intend to um, replace it with a summon if I find one. Oh, we have another one. Uh, expansive. Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, because we do quite a lot of uh, area of effect spells. I'm pretty sure that will affect our basic attack. You notice I had to like double back and then dash in order to get those guys in my range. So, um, you know, things things are, are spicing up a little bit. Ooh. Eliminate Gamoth, the incarnation of fire. Sure, I will. I'll do that. I am uh, losing some health. Ah, uh, this is just a, a golem, a fight, a flame golem. Increase our, um, our our movement speed for sure. Um, we've got explosive shot, which is just another uh, same physical type. So I'll switch to passives because it's not going to do much for us. Critical strikes have a fifty percent chance of applying bleed. Uh, all your attacks have ten percent chance of applying fragility. I'd prefer to apply fragility. We should tear this guy apart. Oh, we're full health right now. I guess I hit the uh, health gems. Our flame golem is fighting the other flame golem. My flame golem can fight your flame golem any day of the week. Increase your cast frequency modifier. Yeah. Uh, all your attacks have 25% chance of applying burn. Uh, yeah. Chaos bomb. Explosive traps. This should be a summon I, I, IMO, but none of these are very good. Expansive. There we go. 10% um, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And da uh, damage increase for summons. Sounds good. Um, expansive. Sounds good. Suction bomb. That sounds kind of good. I think I would prefer that to maybe some of our others. Um... Nah, I, I'm gonna pass actually. Potency of the buff from the bloodlust skill. Increase the damage modifier of the shrapnel shot. Let's do the bloodlust since it's one of the few things that actually adds to our summons. Oh, we can have more than one uh, golem on the field. I guess if they don't die, we still we still summon another one. That's actually really cool. I'm down for that. I'm down for an army of golems. Grab that. Grab them gems. Grab them gems. Relentless. Uh, all your attacks have 20% chance of applying doom to the target. Causes 56% or 60, 56 damage after 5 seconds. Um, uncommon power that causes fiery orbs to rotate around you. I think I'd... Yeah, we'll take the fire shield, I suppose. At least it's, it's not an active skill, so that means that we can... It's not going to replace one of our other gems or other uh, skills. time alive five minutes i'm not sure I, I i think one thing i did like about this game but i'm not sure if it's if this is still true is that the games were actually fairly short i'm not a huge fan of um the consistency in which uh survivor likes like all want to or insist on being like half an hour long per game i think that that's too long to be honest I don't think that the the gameplay is like deep enough um, to to really warrant like half an hour long games. And after a certain while, because of their uh, tendency to to just kind of ramp up in um, like visual effects, uh, it gets to be kind of exhausting. I can't imagine it's it's good for anyone with photosensitivity. Not that that is like my my main concern, but like also just for my speaking for myself tends to hurt my eyes after a little while of like looking at like non-stop visual effects oof um we want some health gems oh there's the boss okay let's uh see if we can't do some damage to the boss oh also let's level up uh we don't want any of that aha relentless epic power yeah i think we have enough uh, agility especially with our blood thing going on Ooh, that was good. I managed to dash in there and dash out. 
damage increase for our ballista um area of effect for a bombardment sure we don't need everything to be a summon we've got enough summons i think um i like that fragility damage increase oh the multicast though the multicast is too good can't i can't not do the multicast oh so i mean uh what can what else can i say so our objectives are eliminate lords of the void three of five so we're already like well past um I guess not past the halfway point. We've, we've got three more to go and they're probably gonna be harder. They're gonna ramp up in difficulty. And by difficulty, really all that means is like tankiness, uh, you know, damage sponginess. Um, they do have uh, a different variety of attacks, it's true. And they do uh, become a little bit harder. Wow, that multicast was kind of insane actually. Um, but like also it's, you know, it, 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 the strength their strength is or their progression isn't really in variety so much as like just how long it takes you to kill them okay we got columnth columnth the, the ice lord i don't know <laughs> incarnation of ice And predictably, they are taking a bit more damage to kill. They are not dying instantly, although we are nuking them fairly intensely. Wow, they actually died very quickly. <laughs> okay, we leveled up three times. Uh, we can upgrade our... Oh, no, these are uh, new actives. We don't want any of those. Increase your block power, touch of ice. Yeah, let's increase our ice. I mean, let's let's have ice powers. Ooh, damage increase. Increase the damage front modifier of all your skills of type frontal by an additional 40% if a skill does not cause damage. So what do we have that is frontal? Our, our mortar shot. Um, our shrapnel shot. And that's it. Um, still? Well, hmm. So we can increase the damage of two abilities. I guess it highlights them actually. That's really nice. I appreciate that little little accessibility feature. Um, yeah, we can increase the damage of two of our skills by forty percent, or just one of them by forty five percent. I think the, the uh, choice is pretty obvious here. Okay, let's go for some uh some health crystals we got we got our health basically full we oh we've already killed four lords i get i thought that the, that was counting down not up so i guess we only have one more boss if the at the, at the rate that we're going we'll probably end this before 10 minutes Ooh, that was a kind of an interesting knockback This is, uh, I mean, this, this is fun. <laughs> what can I say? Um, uh, bomb barrage. This is a frontal, a frontal bomb barrage. We could take that since we haven't really done much. Plus 90% damage modifier plus 40% area modifier. Is this an area of effect? Area in front of you and applying weakness. If we took this, I think it would be better because it would be affected by area and frontal um so we'll take that to replace bombardment it only has i guess it only take, has the damage modifier that's kind of unfortunate I, I would have thought that it would be an area of effect spell but that's fine it still has plus 90 percent uh damage increase and it's absolutely wrecking um attack speed of the shrapnel shot it is a frontal ability, so we'll definitely uh, upgrade that. I guess we're we're pretty much locked in now for our actives. I don't think that there's anything else I really want. I also something very very minor. Um, what's the opposite of a nitpick? A nit pro? A nit positive? 
what, what what are we agreeing on what's a what's a good terminology for this but anyway a uh, um, very small thing that i i like uh, in this game is that how uh, non-abrasive some of the sound effects are like they're actually quite toned down and uh this is particularly picking up gems um i know that a lot of survivor likes like to do this thing where like the closer to leveling up you are the higher pitched the, the gem sounds get like they go like do 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 and it, it, like it's cool the first time but i honestly find that it is just really annoying after a while um and it's just like hearing that I, I like I have to I have to apologize to other people in the room because it's like oh, good lord I'm you know I'm sorry you have to listen to this for like an hour um depending on how long I choose a portal well this is new what was that uh oh what did I do eliminate the lords of the void okay so we're still going complete the match we we uh, we achieved eliminate monsters to summon the lord i was about to praise the game based on the i, I guess I, this must be a choice that i just made um but it seems to me that um i instead of choosing to end um i have instead chosen um to to continue going um what do we like at this point i'm one no no, we're, we want to keep our summons. So let's go to passives. Increase protection from chaos golems. Um, we'll have more fragility. So now we have to fight 10 Lords of Void. My goodness, that's quite a lot. Well, well, well let's do it. Um, if they offer me another portal at the end of this, then I'll know not to take it. Honestly, at this point, I mean, I've kind of semi run out of things to say. So what I might do here is I'm going to do a, a quick pause and um, I'll, I'll continue the recording when something a bit more interesting happens. I'll be right back. OK, so um, we've got our boss sis plural. Um, so this uh, this next wave, I guess, overlord mode cycle one, whatever I've accidentally pick picked. Um, uh, actually has us fighting two things at once uh, for our boss. No, uh, damage increase for bloodlust. Uh, takes two less damage. Let's do our bloodlust. I'm just gonna level up real quick and then we'll we'll fight something. These are active skills. Increased quantity. Oh heck yeah, bud. Uh, increased damage. Oh heck yeah, bud. Multicast. Oh heck yeah, bud. All right, excellent. So yeah, we're fighting two bosses at once. That is kind of interesting. And it also means that um, this second wave isn't as much of a slog. Um, and it also actually quite, uh, adds quite a bit of difficulty to this. Because you're now dodge having to dodge two... Uh, we, wow, we died very suddenly there. I'm glad I caught that on, uh, on camera because that was almost game over sudden, like instantly. But um we did succeed i got some stuff i think i got some uh, uh whatever these curse points are yet another there's a lot of there's a lot of currencies and, and progression markers in this game and i'm not even sure what all of it means but you know what this is the kind of game i'm like i have to say this i, I can't underline this enough really um it, it, this is probably one of the few survivor likes i will actually come back to and play in my off time and that wasn't really true for vampire survivors itself it wasn't even re really true for uh brotato it's actually only been true for maybe two games this one and um gunlocked gunlocked was one of the few survivor like games i played uh in my off time and i uh thoroughly enjoyed also bone razors bone, bone razor minions so like this game makes the short list of like five games i'm i'm putting vampire survivors on there because i do occasionally come back but i actually find it is uh it, it's not as compelling to me as some of its um uh, successors imo i know that that is an unpopular opinion and no one's gonna like me for saying it but it is really just an opinion and it's in no way objective like i, I understand and that the game is good and i uh, respect it and the people who play it that's fine um my my respect wanes with a lot of its successors and the the plethora of of survivor like like likes like they're all just too like 
Um, but this game, I don't know what it is. I, don't, I think it just gets the formula right. I think it has enough interactivity, enough agency, enough uh, mobility that it, it stands up apart from a lot of its uh, uh, competitors. And I think it's just really well done. I don't know what it is. It's, it's a, a combination of many, many good choices. Uh, I think it actually looks quite nice. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really good game, in my opinion. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing more of this in my off time, uh, not on camera, but I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope that you got something from it and don't, uh, um, you know, whoa, I just realized how far out this goes. <laughs> um, don't, uh, don't take my opinions uh, too, too badly and, uh, you know, keep, keep things civil in the comments. Uh, I'd uh, super appreciate that. But anyway, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.